Hi, Roger Smith from Source Audio here. Uh, today we're going to take a look uh, at using an iPhone X uh, with a Bluetooth audio connector in order to have a wireless connection from my Neuro app uh, down to my pedal board. So the uh, first thing you need to do uh, is to uh, select a uh, um, uh, one of these Bluetooth uh, audio uh, adapters and uh, connect it up uh, with the cable that comes uh, with uh, your Source Audio uh, pedals that goes into um, the uh, second input uh, of the first pedal in your chain. And you'll note that this signal is being sent all the way down so I can control all of my pedals with this one wireless um, connection. And of course, if the Bluetooth receiver were inside of the pedal, uh, I could only talk to one at a time. So it is advantageous uh, to, uh, to, to talk to things this way. One important note, uh, these connectors going from uh, input to, output to, to the next input to, and so forth down the chain, it is important that these are TRS uh, connectors or three lead connectors uh, because we need to have b uh, pass on both the stereo uh, instrument signal as well as the neuro signal and not have them interfere with each other. So the first thing uh, that uh, you need to do after you have linked your phone to the uh, Bluetooth adapter is to go into the tools section and you will note that I have selected invert audio output phase uh, and it seems that uh, most of these uh, audio adapters require this uh, as the, the, the means of uh, communication. And uh, you will know uh, that you are successfully uh, talking to um, the, uh, the pedals uh, in the chain if you select say in this case we're going to uh, select the uh, the C4 and we'll just go and uh, uh, go out to the uh, community here. We'll sort around popularity because I want to see what's trending. I want to be cool uh, and uh, have those most popular effects here. So let's take a look and uh, uh, oh pony that's a good one. So I'll come over and as I'm uh, as I hit uh, pony you will see I get a little blip on my LED here and that is an indication uh, that uh, the pedal has successfully received the command that I have sent uh, from the phone. Uh, so let's uh, turn that on and uh, let's get a little try to, to see what uh, Pony sounds like. So I like that. Uh, so I'm actually going to let everyone know that I like that uh, by uh, clicking on the little heart uh, button there. And uh, let's see what else is uh, in here. Ooh, Funk Dragon. Uh, I like that one. And again, I see the little blink on my pedal. I know I'm good to go. Let's give that a try. So I like that one too. So I'm going to give a little like onto the Funk Dragon. And uh, let's see, um, I, um, uh, I do like reverb a lot. So let's go back up to the top and let's uh, uh, select the Ventress. I actually have a Ventress which is in my chain here. Uh, I could edit all these uh, parameters that are in here, but um, I, I'm not much of an editor myself. I kind of like to browse the work of, of others. So I will go to the community and I'm going to again sort on popularity so I can uh, see what sort of the most popular things are that are uh, out there. And uh, let's uh, uh, take a look here. Oh, uh, Space Echo. That looks like that's a classic sound there. So let's 
We'll hit that, and I see the little blink on my uh, pedal. Well, that space echo is sounding pretty nice. Let's see what else I can find. Um, ooh, Canyon, Hall L and Echo Verb. And that's by uh, my buddy, Dick Jonesify. Um, he does great work, so let's, uh, let's give that one a try. So there you have it. Very easy wireless Bluetooth connection from uh, in this case an iPhone but we also have another video showing an Android uh, and a very easy nice connection to one or more uh, pedals uh, and uh, takes your neuro experience uh, up another level. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.